Hey guys, this is Chris back again with the Ancient Scholar, and I'm going to continue talking about the opioid molecules. So on the last video, we talked about this little guy here, morphine, and then I modified morphine a little bit. I made a, a semi-synthetic um, opioid uh, by replacing the hydroxyl groups. Um, okay, by uh, with acetyl groups, I acetylated it. And that created uh, the molecule heroin, and heroin is highly um, lipophilic, so it's able to pass through lipid membranes uh, into the central nervous system, where it is then metabolized back into morphine. Um, we also modified the morphine structure. We put a, a double bond um, oxygen, and a uh, this methyl group was replaced um, with a propanol group, and that created a um, narcotic antagonist naloxalone. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you another molecule, and this is actually um, a, an opiate. This is just like morphine in that it is a naturally occurring opioid. So um, morphine is one of the two major opiates, a major naturally occurring. The other one is a, a simple modification and it involves this hydroxyl group here and all I do is I replace this hydroxyl group here with a methyl group. Alright, so I methylate the morphine, methyl morphine, and that creates codeine. Okay, so this is a simple modification here. Uh, creates codeine. Codeine is also found naturally. Um, naturally comes from the poppy as well as morphine. So morphine, and, to summarize, morphine and codeine are your two major opiates, naturally occurring opioids. Um, heroin is a semi-synthetic um, opioid. It is not an opiate because we have to do some minor uh, modifications to these natural molecules to create heroin. In the next video, couple of videos, I am going to talk about the synthetic opioids. The synthetic opioids have a profoundly different chemical structure than the uh, structure that we've talked about to this point. Um, when you talk about the morphine rule, and you talk about the uh, the five uh, the five rings, so you got your one, two, three, four, and um, let's see if I can show that better on the uh, the camera for you guys. Five, um, and you have your quaternary carbon with sp3 hybridization, which is two carbons. Um, away from the nitrogen, you have your tertiary nitrogen. Um, all of that stuff kind of goes out of the window, and you can see kind of how the the um, this morphine molecule here. If I can, I'm going to pull back a little bit just so we can see it. You can see kind of how all the rings are just kind of closed in on themselves, and the rings are all together and in kind of one discrete unit. That's called a closed ring structure. The synthetic um, opioids will have a what we call an open ring structure, where you have rings that are kind of by themselves. The nat the synthetic opioids um, are interesting because they can have very high specificity for certain opioid receptors. Um, they may have very high specificity. Example uh, for mu receptors. Um, and they may not be associated with some of the things that um, medications like morphine are associated with. Morphine, um, we'll go back to morphine here. Uh, in addition to its interaction with the opioid receptors, um, morphine is also called a quote-unquote dirty um, drug in that um, it causes um, a physiological release of histamine. So you administer this and you can cause your patient to have a histamine dump. And that, that, that's where you can get the, the, some of the nausea, some of the itchiness, some of the, the blood pressure may get low um, by giving morphine, causing a release of histamine. And you can have these, these hemodynamic changes that occur. 
some of the, the synthetic um, opioids don't have that um, don't have that associated histamine dump um, with them, and therefore they may not uh, impact the hemodynamics as significantly as something like uh, morphine would. So if you have somebody and you're, you're you're a little more worried about their blood pressure, you may be able to consider a synthetic. Um, however, some of the synthetics like fentanyl, for example, or sufentanyl, have uh, very short half-lives compared to morphine, um, so you don't have the prolonged duration of action you do. So it's kind of a, it, when you're looking at, you know, what kind of agent you want to give for pain, um, you know, there, there are a lot of things to consider, but we will focus more on appreciating the molecular structure of those open ring synthetic opiates in the next couple of videos. Okay guys, thanks for hanging in there.